Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video has been requested by a few of you, so I thought I would get a jump on it and film it. So today I'm gonna be doing my move in or setup of my new 2019, 2020 planner. This is the neutral vertical planner and I've already started doing some setup in it. So I thought I would show you what I've done and let's get to it. So the first thing I did was write my name on the inside cover. Um, I have not filled out these pages like a lot of people will mark like when their kids have school or when they have vacation. I don't have kids. Um, it's just me and my husband. So I haven't really figured out how I'm going to use this page and I generally don't reference it ever. I generally reference my monthly pages way more often. So I'm not going to do that. And then a lot of people have used these to mark like specific things each, each month. I haven't done that yet either, so if I decide to set this up, I will show you guys. So looking at July, uh, what I'm thinking of doing for my July like notes pages, I guess you would call these, I think I'm gonna put budget information on this side. Like if I know there's specific purchases coming up or specific things that we have to pay, I think I'm gonna put them over here. And then these, I'm gonna use them kind of like as is, birthdays, goals, any notes I need to leave here. And then I might do like a habit tracker down here. That's what I'm thinking so far. So then for each of the monthly views, I used the long sticker that came with my planner. And I saw this from Plan with Lakin. Um, I put all of the important dates for that month so for July, for example, I put in some birthdays, when we're going on vacation, uh, when I have an appointment, and an event that we're going to as well. So I've kind of laid that out for each of my months. So you'll see for August, I, oop, I just ripped it right off the page. <laughs> They're just stickers, so these can just come up. They're just like big sticky notes. So I did my one for August, and then I'll show you for September what I did. Um, I kind of have this zoomed out so you can see the whole month, but for September, October, November, and December, I put all of the football games that we'll be watching to keep track of those as well. So in September, um, we're Patriots fans, so they have games on 8th, the 15th, the 22nd, and the 29th, and I just listed those there so I know to include that in my planner. And I basically did that for all of the monthly views. Um, for things that I know are happening, like birthdays mainly. Um, I'll show you for what I did in May and June. We know we're going to take a trip next year. I just don't know when yet, so I put it with a question mark. But I did that for all of my monthly views. So now we're going to go to the notes section. And I wasn't like 100% sure what I wanted to put back here. But after seeing what some folks did in their planners, I think I have an idea. Yeah. So on this first page, I'm going to put movies I want to see. And I have these washi tapes from Erin Condren, and I think I'm going to use those. So... I've never really used my notes pages a lot in the back, to be honest with you. But I think, you know, why not try something new? So we're just going to put this, like, across the page. It's kind of crooked, but whatever. And then I have an extra one of these page markers to rip it. And then I think at the top I'm just going to write movies. Or something. And then I thought about drawing a line down the middle. Just like that. To like maybe write the name of the, oh, that just smudged really bad. Well, whatever, it happens. Um, okay, now that's just like lead. I can get most of that off of there, I think. Yeah, okay, Phew. That just like scared me that that was like ink or something that just came off of there. Nah, it was just like, like pen, pen or pencil or something, so. That will be my movies page. And then on this side, I thought about doing books. So I'll use the colorful washi, I think, for books. I don't read a lot in my spare time because most of my spare time is spent working on stuff for grad school. So we'll just do like books on this side, maybe. Sometimes this is washi can be 
there we go, tricky to rip like that. Uh, and we'll just do a running list of books. It's my cat meowing in the background. And we'll do the same thing again. We'll just draw a line down the middle. That one's really crooked because I am an idiot, <laughs> but whatever, it's just a note page. It doesn't have to be perfect. So <clears throat> that's what those both look like. And we get some like grid ones in the back here. Now, what I was thinking of doing for these was a house projects list. So I'm not gonna color that in because coloring's not my thing. I'm not really into that. I don't know what she wants. Uh, I'm gonna do, I think a strip across like this. And then we'll put it like a little bit before that coloring. So this is dot grid, so it's a little bit different. Um, and I think I'm just gonna honestly like write in house projects. I don't know what she's doing, she's crazy. Oh, I got this pen in a Simply Gilded subscription, I think. So for this list, I already know a few things that I wanna think about doing in the next year. So I figured I would just like write them in. Um, so one of the things is the basement floor. So how do I wanna do this? Um, maybe I should just put like a column and if we actually do it or not and how much it costs. So I'll do that. So let's do a column here and then we'll do a little one next to it like this. So what I'll write in this column is project and then cost and then date just as a way to keep track of everything. All right, she's being super annoying. And then we'll just do a line like this. Cool, that actually looks really good. Okay, so let me start with a few of the projects that I want to look into doing this year. Uh, hopefully that's dry, yeah. The first one is the basement floor. We want to replace the carpet with laminate or vinyl, so that's one project. So I'm just gonna put like lines in between all of these, like so. The next project we want to do is replace our front door. And these may all happen at the same time. They may happen at different times. It just depends on what we can manage. All right. The third thing we want to do is replace the French doors in the dining room. So I'll just say replace French doors. And again, these are just little things that I know about that could be doable in the next year. Okay, that one was my fault because I got my finger in the way. Um, another thing could just be, um, what else have we talked about? We need to like, I don't know. I'm just going to do those three for now because those are like the three things that are definitely on our radar that we know we'd like to get done sooner than later. Um, so yeah, I think we'll do that. And then on the other side, I was thinking of making like a declutter list of rooms in the house that we could declutter. And then I'll just like check them off as I complete them. So this is going to be quite the process. So I'm going to write this in. We'll just say declutter. And I think I'm going to do the same thing where I put a column for the name and then a column for if it was done and then a column for the date. And then we'll just go over like this. This 
pen is like dying already. Okay, so we'll start, we'll just go down here. Um, we'll write kitchen, because there definitely could be some room for decluttering in the kitchen. And then um, we'll say basement. I don't know what her problem is. She won't stop meowing. We'll do, um, we'll say bedroom. We'll do grant closet. my closet and then we'll do the spare bedroom and then I guess we can also say living room So I'll just flip back so you can see these again. So I did movies, books, declutter, and house projects. And then in the back, there's these coloring pages. Don't really think I'm gonna use those. This page, I have seen people do it different ways. I have no idea what I'm gonna use this for, so I'm gonna put it blank. Contacts are all in my phone, so don't really feel the need to fill that out. Then there's like a super year at a glance, which honestly, I have no idea what's gonna happen in 2021 at this point, other than graduating from school. And after that, you just get your stickers and your folder. So that is pretty much gonna wrap up setting up my new Erin Condren planner. I'd love to know what you decided to use your notes pages for, so make sure you leave a comment below letting me know how you set your planner up, if you did anything differently. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you get all of my videos, and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.